question 40 um, to solve this of course first of all call it fx okay we need to find a factor to start with so let's just try um, x equals 1 okay put 1 in of course it doesn't matter what square and cubing here because when you do that to 1 it just becomes 1 so this becomes 8 take away 2 is 6 Take away 7 is minus 1, plus 3 is 2, that's no good. Um, x equals minus 1. Here yeah, you have to be taken of the, of the cubing and squaring and so on because it will affect the negative. So this becomes negative 8. That becomes squared, so that's positive, but then there's a negative here, so that's negative 2. That, that comes out to be zero, doesn't it? When you work that out, it becomes zero. Okay, so therefore x equals minus one. Do the opposite, so that means x plus one is a factor. Okay, so eight x cubed minus two x squared minus seven x plus three. And we read it as x plus one ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. Um, so when you equate coefficients then, the x cubed, you've got 8 here, and remember the only way you can get x cubed here is multiplying the first two terms. So you've got ax cubed, so remember a, as I said, is always equal to that number. Then you do the constants, you've got 3 here. To get the constants here, you just do 1 times c. That's the only way you can get a constant, so that's c. To get b then, equate the x squared, so you've got minus 2 here x squared from here you'd multiply x by b so that would be bx squared and then you've got the x squared from here as well like last term plus a so minus 2 equals b a is 8 so that means minus 2 minus 8 equals b so that means b is equal to minus 10 okay so then putting it in you've got x plus 1 a is 8 b is 10 C is 3. So you need to put these into two brackets. Okay. So the approach we often use is 8x in both brackets. So we multiply to give, well, 8 times 3 is 24. Add to give minus 10. So two numbers are multiplied to give 24, add to give minus 10. Well, 12 and 2 work, don't they? 12 and 2 work. Um, of course, to get minus 10, one of them would have to be, you'd have to have minus 12 there, wouldn't you, and plus 2. That's when you would work. Um, but of course, when you multiply minus 12 and plus 2, it doesn't give you plus 24, so that's no good. Okay, that's no good at all there. Um, 6 and 4, that would work, wouldn't it? 6 times 4. Of course, if they're both negative, you get negative 10 then, and when you multiply them, you get 24. So that works. So negative 6, negative 4. Don't forget then to pay back, divide by 8. Common factors then in the first bracket, you've got 2. You've got 4 in that bracket there. 8 then with cancels here, so you end up having x plus 1, 4x minus 3, 2x minus 1. Now it does ask you to solve it, doesn't it? So in other words, when it equals to zero, you need to put all this equals to zero. So first bracket equals zero, or the second bracket equals zero, or the third bracket equals zero. In other words, x equals negative one, or x equals three quarters, or x equals one half.